Crazy Mike from CrazyMikesApps.com with another episode of Tech and App News. Lots to talk about this week, folks. We have a lot of iPhone 5 news and rumors, as well as some real good app sales. Well, app freebies. Let's get, let's be honest. And then there's also some Angry Birds news. They're always in the news, apparently, these days. And we're going to talk a little bit about how Apple is cleaning up in the tech industry. Let's get into it. All right. First up, I want to announce the winners from the giveaways last week. We had Jivers1993 who won the Apple iPhone 4 sound amplifier, a little $9.99 rubber attachment for the bottom of an iPhone 4 that makes the iPod sound really kick ass. And Kyle7002, that's Kyle7002, won the Cirque iPhone 4 remote control. That's the, the uh, iPhone accessory that the iPhone 4 slipped into and has a corresponding iPhone app that's free that allows you to change channels. It's pretty cool. Take it to the bar and see what you can do with it. All right, those guys were the lucky winners. Your stuff has been mailed off by Mrs. Crazy Mike three days ago. Let me know when you receive it, please. All right, on to the app sales. We have some serious app sales and some serious freebie price drops. Let's get right into it. Yesterday, Gameloft dropped their price of uh, Adrenaline, or I'm sorry, Asphalt 6 Adrenaline HD and Adrenaline to nothing. Goose Egg prominently took the top spots in the iPad and iPhone free apps. Number one today, number one yesterday. It's a great title. You should grab it while you can. It's a rather large title. It says 505 megabytes in the description, but uh, I've had people say it's bigger. And uh, I can tell you I had to delete some stuff to put it on my iPad too. Another great series of apps that are on sale, not free, are Capcom's Street Fighter series. Not all of them, but a couple of them are on sale. We have uh, Street Fighter 4 Volt was $6.99, is now $2.99 to September 19th. So if you're a Street Fighter junkie, you may want to pick that up. Another one on sale for Capcom is Final Fight. It's a from $2.99 down to $0.99, cents. and again, that one's only on sale till the 21st of September. So you Street Fighter you know, weirdos out there, pick those up if you want. Uh, they're on sale, and you can save a few bucks. A couple more free apps. Backflip Studios has dropped Ragdoll Blaster 2 to nothing. Goose Egg. Nada. 150 levels of gameplay of Ragdoll Blasting Good Times. Another great app. It's been on. It's been free for a while. That's Zombie Highway. I just did a uh, another update video review for this uh, probably a few weeks ago, and it's by Render Pause. That app is free as well. So man, the free apps these days are real high quality. Tough place to be a free app. Those are some good titles to get. So grab them while you can. Let's go ahead and jump into the iPhone 5 news and rumors. Let's go to uh, one story that came out earlier this week on the 12th on uh, apparently Cult of Mac uh, was talking about how iOS 5 will go gold and ship to, assembler, to, to assemblers on the September 23rd but there's no sign of iPhone 5. To the contrary, Cult of Mac, I'll have to tell you I think that the iPhone 5 may be announced on the 23rd. That was supposed to be announced this week by some other articles I read and I reported to you guys last uh, tech and app news but uh, they have to, if they're going to sell it in October, even mid-October, they're going to have to give at least three weeks, two weeks of ramp-up time for customers to order the devices and build a little frenzy. So you should be looking for something next week. Today is the uh, 15th and it's Thursday, so I'm going to guess either early to the end of next week, maybe even when the iOS 5 goes to assemblers. So keep your ears peeled and to the ground waiting for that. But uh, thank you, Cult of Mac. And again, all the links to these articles that I'm referring to will be in the show notes uh, on the YouTube, uh, iTunes, the YouTube channel uh, video, as well as the iTunes podcast, and on Crazy Mike's apps. Let's go ahead. Another article that's uh, that came out uh, today. It actually came out yesterday. It came out from iPhone 5 release. It's a little-known news website that chronicles iPhone 5 news, and it's referring to another article that says uh, that was. A guy by the name of Ming Chu Ming Chi Kua, who is uh, or Kuo, is an Apple analyst, and he was reporting that um, the next iPhone 5 isn't going to be really much of a different uh, device, which I kind of disagree with. If they're going to change the screen size, 
and they've already put a, a dual processor, a dual core processor in the I, iPad 2, doesn't make sense that they wouldn't put a, a dual core processor into the iPhone 5 and increase the RAM. It just doesn't make sense. So I, I disagree with uh, Ming Chu, Ming Chi Kuo, or Kuo, and uh, yeah, he probably knows a lot more about Apple than me, but I'm just looking at common sense, folks. I'm just saying, I don't see it. I think that Apple's got to put out a, uh, a dual core with a larger, maybe a gigabyte of RAM to compete with the, uh, if they're going to wait another year to put out another device. So that's my take on it. And again, look for it next week. Another uh, article that came out, actually it's a video that came out from the Conan O'Brien show. It came out on the 8th, so it came out late last week. I guess it would be uh, Thursday, so actually I'm a little late on this one. But I'm telling you this because you got to watch it. It chronicles a spoof video on the alleged San Francisco bar uh, misplacement of the iPhone 5 prototype. Now, is this getting to be a regular thing for Apple? Is this their marketing department at work? Because it doesn't make sense to me that these guys are so locked down on their tech news that they're going to let an iPhone 5 prototype waltz into a bar and be left on the bar. I mean, we did this last year. It seems like deja vu, doesn't it? Very strange. Anyways, you got to watch the video. I'll link to it in the show notes again. It is hilarious. Conan O'Brien did a great job mimicking the Apple folks over there in Cupertino. And you got to watch it, and you'll see why I'm talking about it. I think it's a pro. It's got about 772,000 views already in a week. So you got to watch it. Check that one out. Oh, one last iPhone 5 news and rumor article came from Mac Rumors, and it came out today, earlier this morning. It was about a casemate put some uh, photos of a new case for the iPhone 5, and it's actually larger, which shows that there's going to be a bigger screen for the iPhone 5. This again is a no-brainer to me. I have an Android or a Droid X and I love it because the screen is way bigger than the iPhone 4. I prefer to web browse on my Droid X. The one thing I hate about my Droid X is the battery life for obvious reasons. So Casemate uh, had pulled down the pictures because it was starting to cause some uh, publicity and probably the publicity that Apple doesn't want them to have. But, you know, there you have it. The, the images will be linked to, again, that article, and those images will be in the show notes. All right, off to Angry Birds land. Angry Birds, wildly successful. I just looked in iTunes before I got on this, uh, this, this video, um, and they have three apps in the top ten. You know, what more do you say? Three apps in the top ten paid. they got to be ranking in hundreds of thousands of dollars a day for sure, if not a couple of hundred thousands of dollars a day. You do the math. Top app gets a lot of downloads, gets a lot of money, and it depends on what the price point is. Anyhow, let's go into another area that they ventured into, selling plush toys. Selling plush toys to the tune of about a million dollars each month, along with t-shirts. Wow! Angry Birds, Rovio Mobile, congratulations, you guys are studs. So people, if you want to get a plush toy of an Angry Bird or a t-shirt, why not join the crowd that is? And uh, again, the link will be there. That, ad, that article came from the Business Insider and the Silicon Alley Insider. It's a very good article. Uh, another little thing that Angry Birds is doing, this also comes from the Business Insider, one of my favorite places to get tech news. Angry Birds costing businesses $1.5 billion in lost wages. You know what that means, right? It means all you people are sitting around work playing Angry Birds, not working, and it's costing your boss money. I don't think Rovio Mobile thought of that when they developed it, but you know what? Again, congrats, Rovio Mobile, for providing us people some freaking peace and quiet and a little bit of downtime. Thank you. So anyways, that's a lot of money, by the way. $1.5 billion probably close to what Rovio Mobile's made over off of Angry Birds. Who knows? Maybe not. They probably made more. Well, that's an interesting article. Lastly, we'll just talk about the, uh, well, lastly, I'm going to do some selfish plugs, but we have a article that came from uh, Digital Trends, and uh, this article was regarding uh, how the Mac is uh, poised to break record record-breaking quarter sales, the Mac. A lot of this is due to the Air and the uh, Mac Mini. 
So Mac is strong in the laptop sales, even though their laptops are more expensive than the competitors, but people want quality. And I think also, obviously, the success of iPhone, the iPhone and the iPad are driving sales. Matter of fact, today, I didn't have this article in here, but Apple was actually one behind Google as brand in, in terms of brand recognition. What that means is they are right up there with the top, the top brands, the top, the second top brand in recognition that people recognize and is valuable. So great job. Again, that's not hurting their sales. The iPhone 5 is scheduled to break record sales. So again, stay tuned next week. I am venturing to say you're going to hear something about the iPhone 5 next week. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But we will see next episode, Tech and App News number three. All right. To end this episode, I want to plug a couple of things that I'm doing for giveaways. One, my Facebook fan page is at a paltry 973 subscribers. And I give out, man, 10 to 30 promo codes a day, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. It just depends. I try not to spam too much, but I try to give away codes from the developers that want to get their apps recognized. And I get some pretty decent codes. So what this all means? Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. And once I get to 1,000, which is only, what, 27 more people, I'm going to give away $150 worth of iTunes gift cards. That's right. I haven't figured out how I'm going to give them away yet, but it's going to be using the Facebook fan page. Again, I need 1,000 Facebook fan page likes, and that's going to set into motion a giveaway for $150 worth of iTunes gift cards in $10 increments on my Facebook fan page, which I'll report to you on how I'll do that once we get that milestone. Again, Facebook fan page, 1,000 means uh, 15 $10 iTunes gift cards given away on that fan page. Lastly, YouTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell your aunts, uncles, brothers, nephews, people in prison that you know, neighbors that you don't like, kids, bullies, whoever. Tell them to subscribe. The mailman, the UPS guy, I don't care. Share my channel. Please share my videos. Thumb up my, and like my videos. And please help me get more subscribers. Again, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, and I'm currently at around 88,421 today, once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will give away $250 worth of iTunes gift cards. Again, in $10 increments means $25, $10 iTunes gift cards. And I'm going to use YouTube to give those away, but I'll tell you how once I get to 10,000 subscribers. Again, I appreciate your support and I appreciate your patronage to my YouTube channel. This has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps with another installment of Tech and App News, Episode 2. Until next week, thank you and see ya.